And this story that I'm going to tell you guys isn't, you know, like I didn't save anyone's life or anything like that, but um, it's definitely something I won't forget and uh, it taught me a lot. So in October of 2007, I was a senior in high school and uh, it was, I believe it was October 22nd and the night before, um, the Red Sox had just beaten the Cleveland Indians to get in the World Series. <laughs> I, know you, I know a lot of you guys are from Jersey and you're not Red Sox fans, but just bear with me, this could apply to pretty much anything. <laughs> so <laughs> we're sit, I'm sitting at lunch in the middle of school and my friend's telling me how you know, in 2004 when the Red Sox were in the World Series, him and his dad waited out, you know, in line for a couple of days and camped out for tickets. And I was like, well, like, I didn't even know you could do that. So I started, you know, I started thinking about it. And by the time I got home from school, I was like, you know, like, I want to do that. I really want to try it. So the game was on a Wednesday night, and this was a Monday. And I get home, and I called two of my best friends from home. And I was like, do you want to go to the World Series? Like, we could have a shot at this. Um, because apparently they leave like I think is it two or three hundred tickets um, at will call, so crazy people like me can wait out in line, <laughs> try to get tickets. So they they were all in, you know. I'm all for missing school because I'm a senior in high school, and I mean, you know how that goes. <laughs> so the next step was convincing my parents. So I called them. I was like, "This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like I really want to do this. Like you know how big a fan I am." And they were like, I'll never forget this. They were like, they just, they just told me to stop. They were like, I know. I know how much this means to you. You'll never really get to do this again, so just do it. And I was like, well, you know I'll be missing at, at least two, maybe three days of school. And they're like, I, we don't care. Just, just go. You already got into college. Just, just do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm so psyched. I'm just ready to go. I, I want to get into this game so bad. I'm not even thinking. Um, and I'm from, I'm from Boston, so I live about 10 minutes from Fenway Park. So me and my buddies, we end up taking the orange line with whoever's familiar with Boston. Mm. And um, all we take is three lawn chairs and a small backpack full of clothes. Mm. So keep in mind, it's mid-October, and <laughs> the forecast, I really should have checked, but was not good. So we get there, and... Uh, anyone who's familiar with Fenway Park, just Lansdowne, Lansdowne Street was absolutely packed. There must have been just six or seven hundred people there already. Just <laughs> insane. Um, so we found a little spot next to a fence, put our lawn chairs there, and we're kind of like, well, now what? So um, we actually, we, we met our neighbors who came in from, I think it was either New Hampshire or Vermont. And you know they had made the drive, and then we met some more people, and I mean people were coming from all over just to just to just to try to get into this game. So, uh, <laughs> just in lawn chairs, no umbrellas, no raincoats, no nothing. It starts to rain. So, basically, what <laughs> what we have to do is we went to Seven Eleven, bought these like economy size like trash bags, had to poke holes for arms, you know, cut a little head out. So I was just sitting there all night in just a trash bag trying to shield myself from, you know, the rain. Um, the next day, you know, more and more people keep showing up, um, and, you know, at the time, I'm like, oh, this kind of sucks, like, you know, I'm stuck in the rain all night, I didn't get any sleep, but, you know, people start, people end up, you know, they start playing wiffle ball, they start playing football, um, Camera, camera crews from like news stations all across the country are coming by, and I was like, "Wow, like this is pretty cool." Um, I ended up getting interviewed from this news station in Tampa Bay, um, <laughs> and then we spend another night there, and it rains again. So I need to get more trash bags, get to go to the bathroom in a gas station. It was, it was crazy until finally um, the game was at seven, and at about mm, I want to say eleven. AM, we have to start lining up. So I'm standing up, standing up straight for eight straight hours, just in the rain, cold, whatever, uh, until finally we, we get in, I get this $50 ticket for just standing room. I don't get a seat, I can't <laughs> see anything, but you know, being an avid sports fan, I'm just, just being at a World Series is, I mean, you, you can't really, can't really say that too often. So looking back on it, it, it just, it made me realize you know, how to be responsible with my time, um, and uh, it was a big, it was a big
big point where my parents could trust me and you know be like, you know, I know you want to have fun, like. So, I kind of figured out that that's what life is all about. So, yeah.